the weather outside is kind of a indication of how I'm feeling today. Um, I went to bed with a heavy heart and woke up with a heavy heart. It's weird that it's so hard to say this and I actually feel a lot different than um, I thought I would feel. Um, you guys have heard a little bit about my Aunt Sonia, my mom's sister. Um, she had cancer and last night she passed away and I feel a lot more sad than I thought I would because it was something that we were expecting and towards the end it was something that um, we were all ready for. Now that her fight with cancer is done, I think I feel the most sad because thinking back on her life, she did not have an easy one. She had struggle after struggle and the one thing that was constant in her life was um, her faith. Um, watching my mom my entire life. My mom was very good. They were good to each other. They were all, all of my mom's siblings were very good to each other. And I'm grateful that I was able to see that. Um, it's kind of, it came at a funny time. Not a funny time, but Joel and the boys are out playing, so this is gonna fit a little funny into this video. Um, and it might not fit, but anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know and um, I'm sure we will talk more about it later. I am so full right now. These were all over on my mission and when the first one came to Ogden, I was like, we have to go, we just have to go. And I feel sick because I ate so much, but it's amazing and yummy. So come to Black Bear, it's pretty good. Jared, Bo, and I are heading out on our new adventure for today. We have, this is part of our crew. We have a couple more we're gonna pick up. But we're doing a guy's trip, not quite Hawaii, not even out of the States, and only for one night. But it's gonna be a good trip anyway. to separate the men from the boys and put on the real boots. And as I was putting on this boot, I found a little treat, a little treasure oh. trove from Boston or from Lincoln. Pretty excited Lincoln to see that. Lincoln or Boston, make up your <laughs> mind. It's Link. It's one of those kids. Aww. Feels like high school all over again. <laughs> We're finally actually seeing some real snow for the first time. It's been raining the whole time and now it's getting snow. And this is beautiful. This is amazing up here. It's not bad looking in here too. Pretty good looking. Pretty good looking. Hey! Oh. Hello! Earlier we were driving and the machine was just not going at all. And we found out that if we put our seatbelts on, we go a lot faster. So we put our seatbelts on and now we can actually cruise, but it was hot and I thought the machine was broke. I was pretty scared. I decided to be a nice guy and let everybody take a turn driving the machine. And this is what happens when Chad, Grandpa Griff decides to. He buries it. I can't believe Just a little you let bear. him drive. We talked about this. I know, I know it. I think, I think they even told me at the place, don't let the old man drive. It's funny, when we were trying to go off the trail with dad in there as a passenger, he was like, no, no, let's don't, let's, we're gonna get stuck, we're gonna stuck. Get him in the driver's seat, two seconds, he won't stop playing. Dinner has started and it is a meal that Bonnie won't eat, so I brought it here for the guys. Uh, yeah! <laughs> Red meat, vegetables, onions, everything, Philly steak and cheese sandwiches, mm. and I'm pretty excited. We're done being outside. We had a blast. We played in the snow a lot more than we thought. 
Oh, yeah. And we finally figured out how to run the machine right, and <laughs> it took off like a champ. It, it ran a lot better. Once we figured out how to accelerate the machine, it was great. I don't know who makes a machine that requires you to be safe. That's ridiculous. Yeah. I feel like such an idiot that that's the case. Oh, if yeah. I put my seatbelt on, I can go faster? Yeah. Typical. Woo. Good morning, everybody. Look at this fresh snow. Oh, my word. This is unreal. This is unreal. I woke up about five and I had to do a potty break outside in the snow. It was a little crazy. I had to restoke the fire, but we are up for the morning and it's 10 o'clock and this is wonderful. Everybody's kind of got the sour like morning face. The eyes won't open because they're crusty. Voices are groggy. It's a good morning. Morning sunshine. <laughs> oh, oh. I don't have my, I've got my morning face on. I haven't cleaned up yet. <laughs> um, somebody had a wild brain idea to come up a hill that nobody's been going up. And we got buried. We got buried deep. May have been my idea. <laughs> Driving Miss Daisy? <laughs> to the top, sir. <laughs> that big silly hat and those goggles, I know that face anywhere. I don't get a jump, I gotta go rescue everybody. Yeah. Or I'll just take the ranger and leave. Huh. Go get the shovel. I don't wanna be a comparison kind of guy, but I would say if I spent a week here, like Bonnie did in Hawaii, I would have more fun. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Are you just waiting by the window for our cousins? Is that what you're doing, watching for him? Okay. I know I've been crying a lot. And I'm crying for a different reason now than earlier. Um, I was driving down the road and I was thinking about my Aunt Sonia and I was thinking, I wonder what she would say about the things that she's stressed about on this earth. And as I was thinking about that, I was talking out loud, um, pretending that I was talking to you guys, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> and um, I was driving and the rain was just pouring and um, I was thinking, that I would imagine that the only thing that we or she would care about when this life is all said and done is the way we treated people. And, um, and so that was kind of running through my mind and right in front of me, um, the traffic coming um, towards me, um, huge rear end, like it was like right in my face, like, um, there was no cars between us. It was the car in front of me. As we were passing each other, um, got rear-ended. Parts of the car went flying, and I immediately like slammed on my brakes and to make you know to see if everyone was okay. Every single person I could see them grabbing their head, holding their head, and the car that hit them had a baby in the back seat and it was someone my age and um, I rolled the window down and it, which I was getting covered in rain. The driver um, got out of the car and she ran back and and it was crazy because it was like you know you can hear the traffic, you can hear the rain, you can hear her yelling because she wanted to make sure that she could be heard and she said um, are you okay? She said I don't want you to worry about hitting me because accidents happen. That was the first words out of her mouth. 
And I just thought, like, would I treat someone that way? Would I be that nice if somebody had just rear-ended me? She was in scrubs. You know, maybe she's a nurse. I don't know if she is or not, but that was the first thing out of her mouth. My cousins are here. And anyway, I just thought that was crazy. It's just ironic that I was sitting there thinking about how I wanted to treat people better and how important it is that we are kind to each other because that's really all that matters. That's all that our Heavenly Father wants us to do is, is to love each other and be kind to each other. And, you know, I don't think that woman has any idea that anyone saw what she did or said you know she just got hit it wasn't her fault she had her family in her car and all she was concerned about was how the driver of the other car was feeling that she you know she didn't want her worrying and she wanted to make sure that her baby was okay which I don't know it was just very um, touching to me it was just very very touching to me so Anyway, I just wanted to pick up the camera and tell you what happened. We've had a fun couple days of play, but we are packing up to head out of here. And I think it's been worth it. I think it's been worth all the effort and time and fun. And I think everybody had a good time. And now, we just gotta drive our lonely way out that road back to home. It wouldn't be a guy's trip without a stop for burgers and drinks with the boys. And since it's us last three, Heading up to Logan, mm -hmm. we stopped, got us some Dr. Pepper. Yes! From the can. It got us some hot burgers cooking right now, and then we have an hour drive home to our lovely, lovely wives. But that is the close of our guys' trip. I'm yeah. a little sad it's over with. I kind of like the anticipation of trips yeah. and the trip itself, but then I get the blues afterwards. It's a little bit rough. Come back to reality. Yeah, reality's tough. Thanks, Jared. See? Help me out. Taking there, care there. of it. There you go. There. We'll get through this together. <laughs> but thank you for watching, and I hope you guys had a good weekend as well. We'll see you guys.